Big news today sweeps through the Buckingham Palace halls. People are talking about Prince William filing a lawsuit against Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and Omid Scobie, an author. So, what has gotten the future monarch so uptight? From what I have heard, William was infuriated to learn of a recent conversation held by Meghan and Omid in which they both said terrible things about William's wife, Kate Middleton. This is because Kate has been battling a mysterious illness that was only recently revealed to the public. Last month, Kate was secretly taken to the hospital for a severe infection without much relevant information being provided, and all that was done was called the respecting of her privacy. Yet, Meghan and Omid brought up Kate's health conditions in a recent interview to promote the publication of their book Finding Freedom. Their openness about Kate's personal health issues is said to have reportedly turned William's stomach, particularly since they didn't express any well-wishes or sympathies for the Duchess's suffering. Furthermore, critics tell me the description of Kate by Meghan and Omid was unflattering Gushin and gratuitously vicious. They baselessly claimed the illness was a result of too much stress on Kate from having to assume too many royal duties because, at that time, Meghan and Harry had resigned from their own. They also suggested that Kate was either flirting her symptoms or doing so out of jealousy of the Sussex of the time. It seems that William is already sick of his family being portrayed in a negative light over and over. Today's update tells the unseen story of a legal fight between Prince William and an American author on Meghan Markle, violation of privacy and unreliable information against a royal family member. William is particularly irritated by indirect messaging techniques used by Meghan. Meghan allegedly gets information in the press, which could pass it on large media source, which could have some unreliable information, and then use that information to criticize William's wife. This legal threat implies a bigger break between William and his brother than has ever been healed. But how could this break down the relationship between Harry, Meghan, and the Cambridge family in the first place? To put things in perspective, I have to recall Harry and Meghan's first meeting in 2016. Yet sources report that, William, concerned for his brother's well-being, even warned Harry about, rushing, it with Meghan. In this situation, William tried to be a big brother to Harry and protect not only him but also the royal family's legacy. However, Harry viewed William's advice as interference and intervention, thereby setting the tone for the further deterioration of their relationship as the date of his marriage to Meghan approached in 2018. The scandal erupts with the details of the wedding planner, it is alleged that William and Kate were explicitly not invited to Meghan's wedding team. It was taken by many as an act of autonomy, and by others as retribution against William and Kate. The alarming situation is exaggerated early in 2019 after anonymous reports of William removing his brother from Kensington Palace after his confrontation with Meghan over her harsh attitude towards palace workers. At this point, Meghan denies any wrongdoing. Harry and Meghan, meanwhile, now have a strong ally in Scobie, whose sympathy for their side of the story is now unofficially reported by the media. It is particularly noteworthy because, as has been known in the past, Scobie was close to William and somewhat informally associated with Kate as her media advisor. However, the pivotal moment duly arrived last year when Harry and Meghan announced their intention to step back as senior royals, the so-called Megxit, and subsequently moved to Canada and finally to Los Angeles. Most perceived it as a direct slapdown to the Queen and the rest of the royal family. William was stunned by their decision, mostly due to the fact that Harry did not consult him before going public. Even though they had been trying to bury the hatchet through Zoom calls during the lockdown, the connection seems to have been irreparably strained. Essentially, everyone originally portrayed Harry and Meghan as a new, dynamic duo that was going to rejuvenate the monarchy. Instead, as a movie theater, it slowly turned into a hideous reality show. The source of the problem stems from a variety of different issues, and the existing lack of compromise only exacerbates the situation. 
William's frustration reflects what many see as a lack of respect for the monarchy as an institution as well as Kate as a person. People also argue that due to his royal lineage and leading the F.A., coupled with a role as a future king, William is under the microscope in a way no other member of his family is. However, there is still an expectation of privacy, especially considering very serious health issues. So, one has to ask whether the interview with Meghan and Omid was indeed an unfair attack or the one launched by William was the excessive reaction to a family fallout. The courts will ultimately have to decide how the case will play out. One thing that is certain is that the ongoing feud in the royal family is not going to end any time soon.